she shows up at the end with a sniper rifle, blows the head off a, a, a world-class sniper, and then she rocket launchers people. Like, that's what I like. Like, she just, she shows up, she kills an amazing sniper who's going after Hemsworth. You know, you're, like, uh, Braga was a sniper in Predators, so we have a sniper now. And yep. she's awesome with rocket launchers. I just like her style. Shows up on a helicopter, snipes people, blows people up, and rides out of town. Like, that's, that's who, you, like, the chopper. She gets on a chopper. The chopper. That's the move. Uh, she gets on a chopper, flies away. So I just like her in this movie because we need to have, if we had all alphas, it gets a little tough. We need to have, you know, Oleg Takhtarov, uh in in Predators. He was he was very happy to, with his big machine gun. He wasn't a leader. Yeah. He was just happy. Yeah. So I want her on this because she can snipe, she can rocket launch. She's smart enough to send Hemsworth in, not herself, and then she flies away yeah. on choppers. Like that's who you want. They come in, good ensemble, get out. So I'm I'm picking her for my second pick. I love it. I love it. My second pick, Mark, is one that's near and dear to both of our hearts. And it's uh it's Doug Glatt from The Goon. Oh man. And 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 bouncing off of your idea we we don't need all alphas. The the reason why Doug Glatt is so endearing, right, he, is because he says I'm a team player. I I'll be what the team needs me to be. And he's tough as nails. He won't be on skates, so like he has weak ankles. That was that was established in yeah. those movies as, as like his a kryptonite, right? Because he's fighting on a he's fighting on a base that he should never have been fighting on. That was you know your your base is everything. And every predator movie comes down to melee, right? Like mm -hmm. it's all it's always big guns, big blades, big knives. But it comes down to like the fists. And I think in that moment, the glat is going to bring something to the, to the table that. The Yauchas don't see coming. That Yauchas, they don't know about his power. Well, actually, they, they have don't. a scouting system. But you, you can know about Chuck Liddell's power, right? You can know about Quentin Rampage Jackson's power. But once you get hit with it, then you know the power. Exactly. Dolph Lundgren, He-Man. So it's... And I would say that Doug Glatt's power isn't all in his punching power. It's his ability to, to take a punch. Exactly. Yeah, he's take five punches, give one. He takes a puck to the face. Oh, God. Ross Ray knows that. And like that boyfriend beats up on him for a long yeah. period of time. And you want to know why the boyfriend be beats up on him? Because that's what he has to do. And he's willing to do what he's got to do. If you got to take a beating, you take a beating. This is interesting. I was putting together my list, and I was going to put a few characters on this. And I should probably get to this later, but you know me. I don't wait. I was going to take you know, a Rama from the raid as a hero. Yeah. But I felt bad for the Predators. I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> I felt bad for the Aucha. So call me crazy, but the Raid 2 Rama, right? Mm -hmm. A guy who can destroy 70 people in a bathroom. The guy who can kill big boss after big boss after big boss after big boss. Yeah. He's going to kill a Yaucha. I don't care. Rama will not lose. Imagine what right. Mad Dog could do. Jeez Louise. But Rama would win. So I didn't want him in this because the super, the super Predators wouldn't even bring him. They, they no. just, no, no. No, 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 no. You know, we we uh, got to bring that. We Captain want a America. challenge. Yeah. We don't want to be ridiculous here. Bring Captain America, and Iron Man. Don't bring Rama. All right, just right. don't bring him. Don't bring right. him. So, Doug Glatt too. <sighs> it's gonna be like they're gonna feel that power. I want to see gonna... Doug Glatt punch a Yautja. and Doug That's... Glatt would definitely free a regular Predator to fight an Uber Predator. Oh yeah. And I just – I would love to see his childlike innocence in a room full of these alphas and these guys fighting for survival. He would be the guy who's like, oh, well, like, I guess we'll have to fight the aliens. And OK, no problem. That yeah. sounds like a great <laughs> idea, right? Like he's going to be that childlike innocence that endears you to him so, so well. Oh, I love it. That's perfect. Now, I got – my third one here is going to blow your mind. And there's a whole it. backstory to this. I'm going to take Alexa already. Woods, Sanal Latham, Lathan from Alien vs. Predator. Now okay. – she has become an honorary Yautja at the end of Alien vs. Predator. Right. Now, the problem is, that's the Yautja who are warring with the super Yautja. Yeah. So they're going to be scouting this Earth, finding serial killers, finding everybody. They're going to find her and see that mark. And be like, oh, oh, you're one of them? Top of the list. You're coming to us. So then she's forced to go to this planet and survive after surviving already. Now, do you think they would keep her hostage, like on the like strung up, like they did that original Predator? Is she such a trophy? Yeah, but I mean, they are trophy hunters. The scouts already got. Yeah, 
I mean, the scouts get all the glory in this world because <laughs> they're the ones who find everybody. But I think that's a great point you have. I did not consider that. But I, I think they would want to kill her. Okay. Like, I make a statement. Like we got. Do you her. think? Do you think she's the only human to ever get the Yaucha mark? Because Glover didn't get it. He just got a gun. Now, that's a great question. Now, did the did Danny Danny Glover save a predator? No, he killed one. So I think she got one because she helped save. She fought alongside. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. Like she teamed up with that Yautja Scar. And then they, I think it's Scar. But she teamed up with him. And then they became a duo, like a, a pair, a buddy, a buddy cop combo. Right. And so they knew what was going on. And then they gave her the mark because she teamed up with that Yautja. Danny Glover just killed one. So they let him live. They give him a tchotchke and send him off. Mark, with how many people... What a on great planet, question. How many people on the planet in real life do you think that are so into extreme body art and also so huge Predator fans that they gave themselves those scars? Six. I was going to say I was going to say seven, seven, eight. And 40, 4,700 have just drawn it on their cheek with, like, yeah, uh, right. Sharpie. Right. I've done that myself Yeah. last week. Yeah. I mean, I got one right now. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's Christmas time. you got to look tough. Exactly. And be like, is that an honorary Yautja over there? And you just look at them and you go, tap your nose. Yep. <laughs> you get it. But, yeah, so it's – it's yeah, yeah. I'd say, yeah, six. Six. You yeah. know those guys are awesome. Oh, right. they're, they're they're legit, right? And they go to like the screening of the of the new Predator movie, and they're like, "This is the only place opening night where people appreciate what I am about." And then some some dude comes up to him like, "Hey, what are you trying to do with this teardrop? It's not a teardrop. It's not a teardrop. It's a yellow mark. I'm not trying to be like a. Yeah. It's not like I'm not trying to be tough. I'm not a real killer. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm a, All right. Yeah. yeah. Great, great <laughs> bull mark. Here is my third pick. I'm not a real killer. I'm not a real killer. That should be a t-shirt. We sometimes like t-shirt. Yeah. I'm not a real killer. Don't bite the knife. Don't bite the knife. Okay, Under Siege, Cap Final Fight episode. I got Captain Jake Jensen from The Losers, played by um, Chris Evans. Oh, no. Yeah, I pulled the Chris Evans uh, Chris Evans pull out of there. Um, but The Losers is an unsung hero, man. That movie is legit good. It's a fun, fun movie. And that guy, he's a communications guy. He's got excellent long-range, close-range knife skills, fighting skills. He's kind of a jack-of-all-trades. And I think he's going to be the bridge between Glatt and Kowalski. So he has like the, the he has like that bit of the childlike innocence, but he's also a hardened military man. So you can kind of bridge that gap and get those three guys working as a as a team. Oh man, yeah, that's uh. It's a great pick. Very mouthy, very quippy. Yeah. See, he's going to bring the Predator quotes. In this movie, he's going to be the guy doing the, like, stick around jokes. He's not going to wear the circular sunglasses, though, is he? No. He's going to he's going to be pulled out of a mission with the lo So the losers are going to die because he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> they lose. So the rest, yeah, the rest of his team is going to go down. However, however, um... <laughs> He himself may survive lose. longer oh, on, on, on the Predator planet, but he'll go there in full fatigues, fully armed up. He's not going to be undercover doing stupid. He's going to be like in in deep. He's going to be playing poker for knives is what he's going to be doing when they pull him out. Oh, man. I Yeah, I mean, I just watched this movie the other day because it's on Netflix, and I just put it on and, and watch it. It's a good background movie. There's good helicopter explosions. Yeah. Right? There's – he knows his role. He knows that he's not Idris or – Walking Dead Negan. Right. He He's happy where he's at, so he's good in regards he's to that. He's a good team player. He's got the best finger guns in cinema history. Yep. He trusts snipers. He would work with, uh, you know, uh, Farahani. Oh, yeah. He trusts her to snipe people. Would a predator shoot somebody who's giving them finger guns? I think they would tilt their head first. They would do the, like... The Michael Myers? Yeah, tilt the head thing. Like, what's going on here? And then um, 
that sniper's got to hit him with the first shot because he's not going to get a second one out. It'd be nice to see him away from the loser crew. Yeah. I like with it. Kowals- with Kowalski and Glatt. <laughs> Jeez. It'd be <laughs> interesting, though, because, you know, in Predator, there is the motor mouth. In Predators, there's a motor mouth. In the Predator, there's the motor mouth. There's always one. So you got to have a motor mouth. Yeah. All right. And I Predator, like Predator 2 had the motor mouth. With, um. Oh, yeah. Billy Pax? Uh, Billy, pa- Billy Pax, yeah. Wow. So you need a, we, we're going to have to have a motor mouth. Right. I like it. All right. This is perfect. So we got our heroes out of the way. Let's take a quick break. And then when we come back, we will talk about our villains that we're going to add to the team. We'll be right back. Welcome back to movies, films, and flicks. And so we've gotten our heroes out of the way. Now we're going to get into our villains, and and then we're going to end up with a super squad. So I went first with heroes, so I want you to go first with villains. 100%. That sounds like a a very fair idea. So um, my first villain is Kai, um, Russell Wing from Romeo Must Die. Because um, we all know that the Predator end fight is always a big deal, and there's always some kind of um, gimmick for it, whether you're covered in mud or you're in a glacier, whatever it is. This is a guy oh, who's wait, lit- Real quick, sorry. If you want to st- I, I th- it's Russell Wong. Sorry, Russell Wong. Sorry, not Russell yeah, Wong. Yeah, so Russell just uh, give it like five seconds and jump back into like you're, you're starting over. Then I'll do it. Perfect. All right, so my first villain pick is Kai, played by Russell Wong from Romeo Must Die. <laughs> skin to skin. Skin to skin. Isn't that what because, he said? Yeah, that's what he says. Because you gotta gotta do it that way. Um, because again, eventually every Yaksha fight gets down to melee, but there's always a gimmick at the end. Someone's covered in mud, or they're sinking into ice, or there's there's some kind of thing happening at the end. Whether it's like, um, you know, we're in a meatpacking plant with you know <laughs> all kinds of uh, frozen stuff hanging everywhere. Gary Busey's getting killed. Gary Busey's getting killed. But this is a guy who's lit his legs on fire to k- kick a guy better. So he's willing to, I want to say, embrace the gimmick, right? Yeah. Really go there and use it to his advantage. So I'm saying that Kai is going to be um, a formidable opponent. And now he he uh, was eventually defeated in that movie by Jet Li. However, he put up one heck of a fight. It wasn't it wasn't a Steven Seagal under siege final fight. It was a it was a legit um, like main event of a final fight and he lost because he focused a lot on the hand yeah. he put a lot of work on the hand after he burned Jet Li so yeah. I mean that was a that was a mean move he did that was a beautiful villain mean move and he has hope on this planet that he's on yeah. because he's mean but he did like that's like I take your you know I break your ankle and I'm just kicking your ankle, and then you just stab me. <laughs> it's like, crap, I should right. have just, you know, moved away. The knife. <laughs> right? I should have been better. Man, but you see, Mark, I... he broke a guy's ankle, and then he just kept kicking it. Then he got stabbed. Like, he should have just yeah. walked away. You know, the that's... guy pulled out a very yeah. big knife slowly, and Mark did not seem to care. He was just working the ankle. Just so, working yeah. the ankle. He, I think he would have won. He would have defeated Jet Li mm-hmm. if he didn't do so much handwork. If he would have been a little bit more focused on the big picture. <laughs> and and with Walt Kowalski masterminding the whole thing, he's going to say, here's the big picture. Here's what you need to focus on, boys. He's going to be telling people what to do. And I think Kai is going to be a, an incredible, an incredible piece of that puzzle. I love his confidence in Romeo Must Die. Remember when he goes to the club and all those guys want to fight him? He's like, well, it's been a while. Right? How great was Romeo Must Die? Yeah, he just, he's got, so the problem is, his spine is weak. <laughs> And the Predators, and I know it's Predator Yaucha, I'm, I'm, I'm flip-flopping between the two, but his spine isn't the best. So I wonder right. if when a Yaucha rips his spine out, his head just pops off. Probably. <laughs> that's, the, that's exactly the sound it will make. We will, we will cut this episode and use that as, as the ADR. No. Imagine that, right? You're on this alien planet, a super Predator, it goes to rip out the spine in front of his Predator Yaucha brothers. Yep. Doing their finishing, like their big move. This is their thing that they do. This bonding time, they they got you know they got their equivalent of whatever they drink mead, and they're gonna pull off Kai's head, and it just goes, <laughs> and just the head, and everyone 
Like this is that the the Yelch's rite of passage, right? This is his first one. Yeah. 